Alright, what's going on everybody? Um, this is a trade recap of uh, my Tesla position yesterday, Monday, February the 1st, 2021. So what I saw was I saw Tesla fighting this pre-market area. You know, in the morning it came down a bit. Then it tried try to make its way up and break the pre-market highs. Failed. So here it's starting to come down. I saw that the volume was pick, volume was picking up down here. So what I did was, you know, I entered my trade right here. The Tesla contract is here. This is my active trader. I have time and sales. I have level two. I saw that Tesla was coming down to 810. I wanted to enter before the break of pre-market levels um, just to try to catch the momentum. So here you can see I entered my trade. And Tesla just kept flushing. So I caught the a little bit of the momentum you know, we could have entered up here, but that's not really how I scalp. I like to play the breakout. So that's why I entered right around here. So we see Tesla going down. Um, we entered around 8.09. Uh, my mental stop loss would be 8.09.50 or 8.10. You know, I don't want to lose too much on the trade. If I if it hits my stop loss, I'm out. I'm okay with it. Um, but let's see how we do. So we're holding up pretty strong. We're coming down here. We're about 7% in, 11%. Um, what, what, what was I looking for, right? I wanted to see if there was a lot of stacked buyers, meaning a lot of 807s, 807, 807. Um, but I didn't see that. You know, There was more stacked selling here. You can see that these are all very tight. And then also I saw weakness down here. You know, Below 800s, only a buyer for... 797.5 here, only one buyer here. So I saw a little bit of weakness down here. Um, I wanted to play the break of 800 and below. So now we're sitting at 804. Um, my new mental stop loss would be, you know, 807, 806. If we get back up there, I'll hold for a little bit longer. And then, you know, reset as my mental stop loss back to break even around 808, 809. So we're coming down nicely here. 22% in the trade, uh, about like a minute or two in. We can see Tesla still coming down. It's fighting this area. It's been fighting this area for, it's gonna be fighting this area for a few minutes. So you can see the selling side is not very stacked, but they're they're very tight together. You know, a buyer, I mean a seller for 10 here. So we're going back up a bit now, back to 806, 15% profit. Again, my mental stop loss since we're coming back up here now is to at break even, so around 808s, 809s. So we snapped 807, you know, right around right around here is when I would get a little bit worried in case I need to um, exit out my trade just at break even. So we're back down to 9% now. 80750, 80770, oh, it was getting close. 808, it snapped it once, but are we going to continue moving upwards? 80830, you see my mouse, I, I was getting ready to sell. 808.5. Okay, I did say 808 to 809s. We snapped 809s just now, but it was weak. We touched 809 once, and now we're going to start coming back down a bit. After we break 807, 806s, we're going back down. Ten percent. Still fighting. You can see a lot of volume kicked in here. This is the one minute chart up here. Here's the five minute. Lots of volume coming back up. Back up to 807s. I'm still holding my position. No, no reason to exit right now.
See right here, we, some buyers at 801. But below that, below 800s, you know, you have one at 797.5, you have one at 793. Again, you can't rely too much on level two um, because this is not confirmed orders. Your time and sales are the ones that are confirmed, the, one, the orders that have been filled. So you kind of have to look at both of these, you know, to see what actually got filled and to see what is next to be filled. But you have to be careful because there are people that spoof this level two. So you might see a big buyer for like, I don't know, 806 for like 20. And then they could cancel it right as it right as the um, spot price is coming to that. They can just cancel that order right away and you can just get spoofed by it. A lot of market makers on here too. Back at 804, so we're fighting this area. So 803s, coming down to 803s, and the next one would be around 801s. So once we lose 803, we should see a drop to 801. And if we lose 801s, bye-bye. 17% in the trade now. We're up about three hundred forty dollars. Uh, the cost of this trade was, let's see, I believe uh, it was seventeen dollars and ninety cents. We're back to twenty one percent here. We're at eight oh one here. If we lose this, I did say we were going down. So here we go, back to eight hundreds. Here we go, here we go. I'm getting ready to sell. Come on, Tesla, come down. 26% in the trade, $500 right now. Once we lose this 800, it's going down. Here we go, 779. Let's see if there's any big orders that come in. Look, 725, 46s. 798 here, we're going down. Low 798s. Come on, it snapped it once. Also, I was watching SPY, and I saw that SPY was starting to reverse out here. So what I did was I got ready to exit my trade. We're 31% up, $600 in, 34%. Um, and this is where I started to see SPY reverse. <laughs> Uh, I tried to sell my order. It didn't go in, go in right away, just because it was um, fluctuating. Right, it was going up and down right now. So I canceled it, and then I ended up selling at market. I believe it was either no, I sold at the bid. Sorry. So here I cancel. Oh, and I, and I yes, I did end up selling at market. Wow. So the highest we got up to was about seven hundred dollar profit. Um, I got a little bit greedy. I still held on. So now we're back up to a 799, 800s. And I was like, you know what? I'm just going to take my profit here. So we're done with $546. And yep, that's my trade recap for Tesla. Thank you.